When you're using PowerPoint, you may want to insert charts. They can be made in Excel, and they can also be made right here in PowerPoint. So we're going to come to our first data slide, and the second icon up here is Insert Chart. And I have a choice of the different templates that I can use. And in this case, I want to use a bar graph. I want to go through the selections here until I get the 100% stack bar. And I'm going to click OK. Now, that content is going to show up here on your slide, but the data that is building that content is up here. So if you want to change the names of the series or add a, an extra series, you can add that into this data up here. So if I were to double click on series one and call it data one, and then do the same thing for the others. And you see down here, there's a legend. And each time I make an update, it changes it. It will also work the same with data. So if I have 4.3 here and change it to 4.6, it's going to adjust that data in the chart. And if I were to change it for category three and data two to 3.4, you're gonna see that it automatically changes the, the content down here. But to make this accessible for someone who's colorblind and for someone who has a visual impairment, we need to use some other techniques. First of all, solid bars are good for those who don't have any visual issues, but sometimes it's difficult when there are large charts like this for someone with a visual impairment to actually see it. They may need the data on here or maybe the category. Maybe they can't see this category four when they have this enlarged on their computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna alter those two factors. Let's look at the color bar here. So if someone has a form of color blindness where they can't distinguish between the solid colors, what you can do is you can add a fill. So I'm gonna click on the color here and you see that there's handles around each of the blue bars now. And you notice it says automatic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from automatic to pattern fill and then you see I have different choices that I can use now I'm going to use the dotted 10% and of course I could change the color of it if I wanted it to be green I could do that or if I wanted it to be striped now as I mentioned, someone with a visual impairment, they might have trouble recognizing what they're looking at. So they might want to know that that's data one they're looking at because they have trouble looking down here at the bottom of the chart, or they might have trouble following that it's in category four. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up here to add chart element, and we're going to add data labels. And in this case, because I want the person who has a visual impairment to see this data, I'm going to click on data call out. And it puts a, a nice clear box here with the text on top of it. If I want to change any of this, I click on it and I come over here to label options. And when you see the label options drop down, you'll see that I can change to take the value off of it or the category name or the series name. And so what you're able to do is you're able to decide what data the person with a visual impairment is going to see. Now, if I come over here to the solid color, it might be all right to have one solid color because it's a pattern in its own. But if I want to change the gray, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go back to this paint bucket here, and I'm going to ch change it to uh, automatic fill, and in this case it set the foreground to white, so I'm going to change that to make it, say for instance, dark blue, and make it something like this, 
And now, if we're going to add that data back on top of there on either of these, you know, you're going to have to adjust things unless it has this white box around it. So I always like to come up here to add chart element and then choose the data labels and the data callout. Because once I have the data callout, I can then come over here by clicking on the box and choosing the label options and changing what I want in those. As you see, there is a nice, clear, distinct, readable content for your visually impaired user. The dots here and the stripes are going to help folks who have color blindness, but people who have visual impairments that makes it difficult for them to read, like this is category four. So you would just add the category name here. So it says category four and the data is five. And so that's much easier to follow than having to read over here and then find the data over here, that, or at least the chart of the data over here. That's a principal way that you can add accessibility in PowerPoint for those who are colorblind and those who have visual impairments.